Today I want to share an interesting thought with you. Sometimes you might have a friend or a brother or somebody you know, somebody you love and they did some thing that you thought, wow, I never thought this person would do that. I never thought that person would steal, would um, be unfaithful to his partner or her partner and do such a blasphemous thing or do something so strange that you never expected and then you think to yourself well it's because I did not obey the Bible and then you start thinking about those verses in the Bible that talk about those sins and then you start realizing but those verses also talk to you and that you also find those verses challenging um, and yet at the same time you understand that there's a different scale upon which these wrongs have been d are done because the wrong done by the other person is so immense that nobody can miss it it's a scandal everybody's talking about it and uh, the th things that you are doing might be things that nobody is talking about so <laughs> Let's look at some of these verses that teach us something about how our, how our daily life should be. I'm turning to Colossians 3 from verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye servers as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And so, if you look deeply at this verse, you realize, wow, this verse is even challenging to me. All these verses, they show us deeper things of life. The way you should treat other people, the way you should act generally as a lover of God. And it makes you think there's more to life than what is visible. And there's more to life than what you feel and what you experience at the moment and so something similar was happening in my week and I had an opportunity to speak to somebody about it there was some corruption at work uh, some people sold some stock for a time frame and I was dropping an assistant at his house and on our way I was talking with the person and I told him um, about my perspective about what happened and he told me his perspective and then I realized something that there is a thing that I need to tell this person and I said you know it's not about the quantity that these people have done wrong or taken away or sold or stolen and it's not about the amount of time they spent doing it um, whether it went on for years or for decades and it's also not about the fact that they've been caught or whether they've not been caught and how early they've been caught or how late they've been caught there's something much more significant to the situation and we know the people we know them as friendly people because we have to work with them every day uh, and they have to help us and they do their job very well but something was missing and what was missing was something deep inside and that Thing deep inside comes with a personal choice each person needs to understand for himself 
that there is a value to doing good things because it says something about your heart. If you are a dishonest person, if you are a violent person, if you are a spoiled person, a person that does a lot of jesting, uh, if you are a person that is um, self-centered, then there's some introspection that needs to happen because there's something about life that you're missing. And I think we read something about that in these verses, but these verses are more about what you're supposed to do. There's a thing in the Bible that, Je that Jesus teaches us. He teaches us that when you serve God, there is um, a promise of a reward in heaven. And when you have the reward, then only God can take it from you. And many people live lives with complete disregard considering that reward or any spiritual thing. And the thing is, what they do is they allow the world to steal their treasure from them. Because if you practice honesty, if you practice diligence, if you practice sobriety, then you have a reward in heaven. And if you compare that with all the riches in the world, then the riches in the world are nothing. And you might even be given the opportunity to receive the riches of the world instead of that. And that's where your heart is going to come in. And I just want to encourage and say, think about what you're about to do in that situation. Think about what you're giving up. Because a fine heart, a honest heart, is more valuable than all the riches in the world. Are you going to give that up by lying? Even if it's just once? Are you going to give that up by drinking? Even if it's just once? Are you going to give that up by stealing? Even if it's just once? Are you going to give that up by fornicating? Even if it's just once? The devil is holding a gift before you and he says, you can have this right now. But you don't realize what you're going to lose if you're going to take his gift. Everything comes at a cost. Don't sell your heart 